Good morning. Welcome to my channel. Just thought I'll showcase some books I'm putting up on my Etsy. This beautiful journey um, journal. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's different for me. It's really vintage. Um, it's got lots of layers and different tags using vintage vintage paper, fabrics, lots of texture, that technically is the front cover and that's the, the flip out. I've got a journal sewn in there. It's very hard showcasing everything I do because there's so much um, so much that I do to my journals I think it fits in there but I'll just give you a quick flip through this, this has got texture it's got sewing it's got fabrics it's got beautiful clips I love some of the stitching that I put in this journal. It's got tabs, lots of writing space, lots of ephemera, all sewn around. I'm going through it quickly just to show you, see the texture. Beautiful um, digitals I used in this one. And then again, they've got clips and again, you've got some texture. This is one of my favourites in the way I did it. Um, it's got one, two, three, four, five. It's a six signature. But I thought I'd just give you a quick flip through. Just so you can see what I actually do to my journals. They're, they're never the same. They're always different. Now you can actually private message me on my messenger under Jeannie, G-E-N-I, Marshall, M-A-R-S-H-A-L-L, and we can um, sort through PayPal. But I used all sorts of techniques with this one. It was a lot of fun to make. I followed Emily Bloom for quite some time. So you could tuck there, tuck in there. There's a lot of work's gone into this journal. I just get a bit slack putting things up on Etsy. So I thought if I do videos, then you can see that... Um, what I actually, how I make them. This one is again got a flip out and it's got a little pocket in there. It's got a pocket, a large pocket in there with a vintage envelope. Tuck and you've got a tuck in there. So that's that one. It's very, it's very chunky. So that's that. We'll put the hem aside and there's this one. This journal is a 12 signature journal. It's using the booksmith method. It's got a lot of um, uh, embellishments from um, India Boho Dreams, a lot of texture. You've got a secret pocket in there. I never get time to film all my journals, so this is why I thought I'd just do... There's a pocket in there. This is a 12 signature. 
I don't know how many pages. I, I believe between 300 to 400. You've got a lot of space here to do your own work. Again, there's a pocket there. And that opens up like that. So you've got a lot of writing um, spots you can do. Again, there's a pocket in there, but you've got to flip. So you can write there as well. And again, you can just put your own um, things that you actually like. There's a, it's all decorated nicely, this one. Oh, most of the journals are. You've got a tuck in there. Like I said, you've got your own. Um, so that flips open that way. And you can... I used to have Ali Mays in this one. This is actually her boho um, one. It's just an amazing journal. Again, that's got to flip out that way. So I'm just showing you quickly so you know um, what these actually look like. And that, that's a beautiful envelope. It's a fabric one that I made with a lot of um, beautiful um, Zoe stuff attached. And that's a flip out that way and goes as a pocket as well. Another flip out, and you've got a pocket in there. I'm trying to um, get into um, selling some because I'm going to be out of action for three months and due to health reasons, and I'm trying to raise funds towards my um, operation and whatnot. There's a three-fold tag in there. Look, this journal has been done as beautifully as possible. Again, another envelope. Um, it's got charm. And, and then again, you've still got a lot of movement where you want to if you want to add your own spiel on it or you want to keep it like it is or use it as your writing journal like i said it's got lots of pages and the, the signatures are sewn in beautifully um there was the middle of the signature there so i can show you it's neat looks like just it's part of the book some beautiful um, reading Zari. This is a beautiful kit to work with, actually. You've got your double pockets there. I've left them plain. I just thought I'd leave it plain and again another beautiful textured envelope with Zari tuck there. Another beautiful envelope, fully embellished with old letters. They are copies of the letters that are in the journals. It's just a beautiful, beautiful journal. I'm really rushing through it because um, let's see what I see. I've done that. So tuck in there, so you can decorate that any way you want. It's just the way I set out my look. I work differently with each journal, so there's no two alike. So if you expect any two are like, you won't find it. Again, there's the Zari. Now that's a pocket in, hang on a minute. It's a pocket in there. And then you've got your journaling card. It should be there. Like I said, with this journal, you can actually do what you like with it. Because it's been designed so that you can add your own stuff in it. And that's the back. And there you go. So that's your 12 signature. This is a Paris one. It's got a tuck there. This is 
real vintage lace journal and it's gorgeous so I don't get time to showcase all the work and <laughs> that's my problem and I really need to start doing that so it's just full of ephemera a lot of vintage lace I either work with lots of lace or I don't that's how I work isn't that it gorgeous it's one of my favorite picks I don't know what's doing there because it doesn't belong there I love that page that's an old vintage picture from a book I had You can see all the vintage lace in it. Like, I did not spare the um, laces on this one. And like I said, again, you can decorate this however you want. Like, I did lots of layers and whatnot. Look at that vintage lace there. It's just gorgeous. Like, I was very, really, really used up a lot of vintage lace. So if you think my books are overpriced, I'm sorry. It's just I've got to go by what they cost to make me, uh, you know, what I, the stuff I use. Um, this is more shabby chic, vintage shabby chic, I'll call it. Um... Isn't she cute? There's a little booklet in there. Again, using vintage lace. Look, it's vintage all the way out. So that's that one. And it's got the gold bling. So that's that one. This is another big journal, and it's got a tuck in there. This is a 12 signature as well. This is memoirs. And it's a beautiful journal. It's got tucks everywhere, this one. It's got a tuck in there. And it's got lots of tuck spots with stuff there. And if you go in between, there should be another tuck in there. And another tuck in there. I have really put a lot of effort in these journals the envelope beautiful journaling cards you can recognize these are arty mace kits i guess um, double tuck spots It's just gorgeous. You can see the amount of work it's gone into it. And tucks. I've got to keep track of time because it runs away on me. See, this journal is just beautiful. This is not memoirs. See, you got your tuck in there. So you've got a little booklet. There's lots of layering and lots of different techniques that I've used. And, um, you know, it's one of those journals that you can use as a keepsake or actually write in it, you know. It's up to you. But I, I just love what I did to it. 
I utilise this. Well, and truly, there's a booklet there. That must be in them. Oh, and that's another booklet. Tags with pockets. More tags. Oh, I'll show you what this is. This is one of my flip outs. And you hold it in with the tag. Because you never know what a journal is really like. Again, I've used this technique. Now you can have it closed. Like I did that one. And you, you've got stuff in there. And you can close that down as well. This has got an amazing little um, envelope that I made. And it's got paper to write in. I really love this. I've used vintage lace and a lot of sari. And there's the end of the page. Now this is using Nick the Book Mick Techniques. Oops. Because I thought I'd list these, I thought I'd better show them to you. And then that way you can, like I said, message me on my YouTube or um, you can find me on Etsy. The link is on on my um, YouTube. This is a simple of a journal. You can do, again, what you will with it. There's been lots of bits and pieces done to it. That's a tax. Lots of writing space too. And the cover is made out of suede. So I'm just hurrying through it. Like I said, I kept this one more. I decorated the pages more than I did make ephemera, but I still did quite a bit. In the beautiful vintage fabric that is a suede leather cover so that's that one and this is the fairy one i've been listing quite a few journals so um if you check out my channel you'll see various ones that i've actually made it's just i keep forgetting to do the videos on them this is really cute this is fairies again using all sorts of techniques this one is so easy to carry around in your um, bag to write notes in it can be collected it can be given as a gift So there's lots of techniques. There's a card to use so you can actually write and it's not bumpy. And various ephemera I made. So that's those straddles. And that, like I said, it just folds in like this. And you tuck it in through here. And that's my trifle. Thanks for watching.